Hi everyone, today's lecture is on synthesis of fatty acids and triglycerides. Fatty acid biosynthesis. The biosynthesis and degradation pathways are different. As in cases of glycolysis and gluconeogenesis and glycogen synthesis and breakdown, fatty acid synthesis and degradation go by different rules. There are four major differences between fatty acid breakdown and biosynthesis. Intermediates in synthesis are linked to SH group of acyl carrier proteins as compared to SH groups of CoA. Synthesis in cytosol breakdown in mitochondria. Enzymes of synthesis are one polypeptide. Biosynthesis uses NADPH, NADP+. Breakdown uses NADH and NAD+. Three carbon intermediates, malonyl-CoA is required for lipid biosynthesis. Incorporation of acetyl units into the nascent fatty acid chain requires the previous formation of three carbon molecule, malonyl-CoA. This molecule, besides being the substrate for fatty acid synthesis, is also the negative regulator of fatty acid oxidation by inhibiting the carnitine acyl transferase 1 and thus blocking the transport of the fatty acyl CoA into the mitochondria. Activation by malonyl CoA. Acetate units are activated for transferring fatty acid synthesis by malonyl CoA. Fatty acids are built from two carbon units acetyl CoA. Acetate units are activated for transfer by conversion to malonyl CoA. Decarboxylation of malonyl CoA and reducing power of NADPH drive chain growth. Chain grows to 16 carbons. Are the enzyme at double bonds and more carbons? The challenge is acetyl-CoA in cytosol. What are the sources of acetyl-CoA? Amino acid degradation produces cytosolic acetyl-CoA. Fatty acid oxidation produces mitochondrial acetyl-CoA. Glycolysis yields cytosolic pyruvate which converted to acetyl-CoA in mitochondria. Citrate malate pyruvate shuttle provide cytosolic acetate units and reducing equivalence for fatty acid synthesis. Shuttle for transfer of acetyl groups from mitochondria to the cytosol. Pyruvate derived from amino acid catabolism in the mitochondrial matrix or from glucose by glycolysis in the cytosol is converted to acetyl-CoA in the matrix. Acetyl group pass out of the mitochondrion as citrate. In the cytosol, they are delivered as acetyl-CoA for fatty acid synthesis. Oxaloacetate is reduced to malate, which can be returned to the mitochondrial matrix and converted to oxaloacetate. The major fate of Cytosolic malate, however, is oxidation by malic enzyme to generate cytosolic NADPH. The pyruvate produced return to the mitochondrial matrix. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase. The acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme commits acetate to fatty acid synthesis. Carboxylation of acetyl-CoA to form malonyl CoA is an irreversible committed step in fatty acid biosynthesis. There are two forms of acetyl CoA carboxylase acetyl CoA carboxylase 1 and acetyl CoA carboxylase 2. Acetyl CoA carboxylase 1 is located in cytoplasm and committed to fatty acid synthesis, whereas acetyl CoA carboxylase 2 is in the mitochondria where it regulates fatty acid oxidation. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase 2 inhibition results in reduced generation of 
melanyl CoA, which in turn is an inhibitor of the carnitine formidable transferase 1, CPT1, allowing fatty acid uptake by the mitochondria. Through this inhibition, the fatty acid oxidation is reduced. Acetyl CoA carboxylase 1 is a biotin dependent enzyme with distinct enzymatic and carrier protein function. Its subunits serve as a biotin carboxylase, transcarboxylase, and biotin carboxyl carrier protein. The reaction itself takes place in stages. First, there is the carboxylation of biotin involving adenosine triphosphate, followed by the transfer of the carboxyl group to acetyl CoA to produce the melanyl CoA. At this stage, the free enzyme biotin complex is released. Melanyl CoA is formed from acetyl CoA and bicarbonate. Acetyl CoA carboxylase has three functional regions biotin carrier protein, biotin carboxylase which activates carbon dioxide by attaching it to a nitrogen in the biotin ring in an ATP-dependent reaction, and transcarboxylase, which transfers activated carbon dioxide, which is shown in shaded green, from biotin to acetyl CoA, producing melanyl CoA. The long flexible biotin arms carries the activated carbon dioxide from the biotin carboxylase region to the transcarboxylase active site. The second major step in fatty acid synthesis also involves a multi-enzyme complex, the fatty acid synthase. This enzyme system is much more complex than acetyl-CoA carboxylase. The protein contains seven distinct enzyme activities and an acyl carrier protein. ACP, a highly conserved protein, replaces coenzyme A as the entity that binds to the elongating fatty acid chain. It consists of a dimer of large identical polypeptides arranged <coughs> head to tail. Each monomer contains all seven enzyme activities and the ACP. The function in fatty acid synthesis is shared between the two polypeptide chain. The fatty acid synthesis reaction cycle. Acetyl-CoA is the priming group only in the first cycle. After that, melanyl-CoA is added to the ACP carrier protein each time. There are four reaction steps required each cycle to result in the net addition of two carbons to the growing fatty acid chains. Each cycle of the fatty acid synthase reaction requires the input of one melanyl CoA and the oxidation of two NADPH molecules. The synthesis of C16 palmitate therefore requires 14 NADPH. In the final step, the enzyme palmitoyl thioesterase catalyzes a hydrolysis reaction release palmitate. Production of NADPH. Production of NADPH via two routes. The first route is oxidation of malate to pyruvate by malic enzyme. The second route, oxidative phase of pentose phosphate pathway contributes the rest of needed NADPH. Fatty acid elongation. Elongation of fatty acid chain beyond 16 carbon length requires another set of enzymes. Palmitate released from fatty acid synthase become a substrate for the synthesis of longer chain fatty acid with the exception of certain essential fatty acids. Chain elongation occurs by the addition of further two carbon fragments derived from melanyl CoA. 
This process occurs on the endoplasmic reticulum by the action of yet another multi-enzyme complex, fatty acid elongation. Desaturation of fatty acids. The desaturation system requires molecular oxygen, NADH, and cytochrome B5. The process of desaturation like that of chain elongation occurs on the endoplasmic reticulum and results in the oxidation of both the fatty acid and NADH. Desaturation of fatty acid takes place in the endoplasmic reticulum. Regulation of fatty acid biosynthesis. Acetyl CoA carboxylase is controlled by allosteric and covalent modification mechanisms. Regulation of fatty acid biosynthesis. The primary control point of regulating flux through the fatty acid synthetic pathway is the modulating activity of acetyl CoA carboxylase. The activity of acetyl CoA carboxylase is controlled by both allosteric mechanism, metabolic control, and covalent modification, which is known as hormonal control. Acetyl CoA carboxylase is the most active when it is homopolymeric form. Citrate and farmethyl CoA are metabolites that bind to an allosteric site of an enzyme, stimulating polymerization or depolymerization, respectively. Metabolic regulation of acetyl CoA carboxylase. Allosteric regulation of acetyl CoA carboxylase activity makes sense because when cytosolic citrate levels are high, it means citrate shuttle is active and fatty acid synthesis favored. However, when palmitoyl CoA levels in the cytosols are high, it serves as a feedback inhibitor to decrease the flux through the fatty acid synthesis pathway. Regulation of fatty acid biosynthesis. Acetyl CoA carboxylase in the phosphorylated form is inactive. Protein phosphatase enzyme convert the acetyl CoA carboxylase to active form by removing the phosphate group. This enzyme is activated by insulin. Acetyl CoA carboxylase active form phosphorylated by cyclic AMB dependent protein kinase. The phosphorylated acetyl CoA carboxylase is in inactive form. Glucagon and epinephrine and AMP dependent kinase stimulate cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase. Acetyl CoA carboxylase generally present as an inactive dimer. Citrate activate polymerization of this dimer and results in active polymer. Long chain fatty acyl CoA inhibit polymerization or promote depolymerization. Regulation of acetyl CoA carboxylase. Global regulation. Global regulation is carried out by means of reversible phosphorylation. Acetyl CoA carboxylase switched off by phosphorylation and activated by dephosphorylation. Insulin stimulate fatty acid synthesis, causing dephosphorylation of acetyl CoA carboxylase. Glucagon and epinephrine have the reverse effect. Keep the acetyl CoA carboxylase in the inactive dephosphorylated form. Protein kinase A is activated by AMP and inhibited by ATP. Regulation of acetyl CoA carboxylase, local regulation. Acetyl CoA carboxylase is also under local control. This enzyme is allosterically stimulated by citrate. Specifically, citrate partly reverses the inhibition produced by phosphorylation. It acts in an unusual manner on inactive acetyl CoA carboxylase, which exists as an octamer. Citrate facilitates the polymerization of the inactive octamers into active filaments, 
The stimulatory effect of citrate on the carboxylase is antagonized by palmitoyl-CoA, which is abundant when there is an excess of fatty acids. Palmitoyl-CoA causes the filaments to dissemble into the inactive octamers. Palmitoyl-CoA also inhibits the translocase that transports citrate from mitochondria to the cytosol, as well as glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, which generates NADPH in the pentose phosphate pathway. Coordinated regulation of fatty acid oxidation and fatty acid biosynthesis. Fatty acid synthesis and degradation are reciprocally regulated, so both are not simultaneously active. In starvation, the level of fatty acid rises because hormones such as epinephrine and glucagon stimulate adipose tissue lipase. Insulin, in contrast, inhibits lipolysis. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase also plays a role in the regulation of fatty acid degradation. Malonyl-CoA, the product of acetyl-CoA carboxylase reaction, present at high level when full molecules are abundant. Malonyl-CoA inhibits carnitine acyltransferase 1, preventing fatty acyl-CoA to mitochondrial matrix in times of plenty. Malonyl-CoA is an especially effective inhibitor of carnitine acyltransferase 1 in heart and muscle tissues. Finally, beta oxidation pathway inhibited when the energy change and NADPH levels are high. Response to diet. Long-term control is mediated by changes in the rates of synthesis and degradation of the enzyme participating in fatty acid synthesis. Animals that have fasted and are then fed high carbohydrate. Low-fat diets show marked increase in their amounts of acetyl-CoA carboxylase and fatty acid synthase within few days. This type of regulation is known as adaptive Comparison of fatty acid synthesis and degradation. Greatest flux through pathway after carbohydrate rich meal in synthesis in starvation in degradation. Hormonal state favoring pathway. High insulin glucagon ratio favors synthesis. Low insulin glucagon ratio favors degradation. Major tissue site primarily occurs in the liver. Degradation primarily occurs in the muscle and liver. Subcellular location, synthesis primarily occurs in the cytosol, degradation primarily occurs in mitochondria. Carriers of acyl acetyl group between mitochondria and cytosol. In synthesis, the carrier is citrate from mitochondria to cytosol. In degradation, the carrier molecule is carnitine from cytosol to mitochondria. Oxidation reduction cofactors, NADPH, in synthesis, NAD plus and FAD in degradation. Two carbon donor or product, malonyl CoA donor of one acetyl group in synthesis, acetyl CoA is the product in degradation. Activator, citrate is the activator of fatty acid biosynthesis, and fatty acyl CoA is the inhibitor. Malonyl CoA inhibits. Carnitine acyl transferase in degradation. Product of the pathway, palmitate is the end product in synthesis. Acetyl CoA is the end product in degradation. Synthesis of triacyl glycerol in liver and adipose tissue. Glycerol 3 phosphate is produced from glucose in both tissues. It is also produced from glycerol in liver, but not in adipose tissue, which lacks glycerol kinase. The steps from glycerol 3 phosphate are the same in both tissues. Glycerol 3 phosphate reacts with fatty acyl CoA to form phosphatidic acid. Dephosphorylation of phosphatidic acid produces diacyl glycerol. Another fatty acyl CoA reacts with diacyl glycerol to form 
triacyl glycerol. Composition of very low density lipoprotein or VLDL. The triacyl glycerol produced in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is packaged with cholesterol, phospholipids and proteins to form VLDL. The figure shows synthesis of VLDL from glucose in the liver. Glycerol 3-phosphate is derived from glycolytic pathway. Fatty acyl CoA is derived from fatty acid biosynthetic pathway. Glycerol 3-phosphate and fatty acyl CoA combine together to synthesize triacyl glycerol. Triacyl glycerol is assembled as VLDL and secreted into the blood. Synthesis, processing and secretion of VLDL. Proteins synthesized on the rough endoplasmic reticulum are packaged with triacyl glycerol in the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex to form VLDL. VLDL are transported to the cell membrane in secretory vesicles and secreted by exocytosis. Triacyl glycerol synthesis in adipose tissue. After a meal, the triacyl glycerol stores of adipose tissue increase. Adipocytes synthesize lipoprotein lipase and secrete into the capillaries when insulin glucagon ratio is elevated. This enzyme digests the triacyl glycerols of both chylomicrons and VLDL. The fatty acids enter adipose cells and are activated forming fatty acyl CoA which reacts with glycerol 3-phosphate to form triacyl glycerol. In adipose cells under fed conditions, Glycerol 3-phosphate derived from glucose. Thank you.